afternoon, good evening and good night. Welcome back to Abstract Medicine. Thank you so much for joining here with me on YouTube and following me on abstract underscore medicine, that's abstract underscore medicine on Instagram for daily posts. So it's been a while since I've checked in on your energies uh, in a sort of like more in-depth way and we're going to be doing that today. So just before I begin, let me just get my incense and in the time just um, as I'm going to do that, have a look at these stickers and see how each sticker resonates with you. This is going to be pole one, pole two and pole three. That's pole one, pole two and pole three. Once you really feel like you tuned into your pile, you can go directly to the timestamps below. You're also able to look at all the piles. You may resonate with more piles not just one. We're going to be starting with pile one. Pile one, welcome to your reading all about money and love matters and everything else. Let's see what pile one is going to be all about. I've actually decided to use the um, Mother Peace Tarot and we're just going to be using the Ciro Marchetti um, found this Yekul deck, okay? So let's get an overall. What is happening in Pile One's life? We have the Eight of Discs. I heard Disco as well. That's the Eight of Pentacles. So pole one, what I'm seeing for you, pole one is community. Community is of importance, building a community, being with tri with tribe, um, being connected. Um, this is also working with people that are like-minded, working with people that have similar crafts, skills as you. Um, I also feel like maybe making a trip out there, I'm hearing, making a trip out there. So out there could be you know, in a different location where you are, um, from where you are, uh, a country, a state, a town, a village. I also see someone who is going to groups and working with groups. This could also be online as well and being part of a collective, feeling um, belonging, like feeling the sense of belonging. This could be a creative community as well. This could be partaking in an art residency program or something like that. Um, I just feel like the importance here for you, Pearl One, is building a community and being part of it, particularly in a, in a creative um, creative setting. So this could also involve maybe you studying something, being an apprentice, um, learning something, maybe even learning how to create luxury goods possibly, um, or doing something that's gonna take a bit of time for you to learn, but it's about investing that precious time into that, into that project, into that artistry. Now I, I've got a friend of mine called Ben, who um, loves making things with his hands. You know, he turns with wood. Um, he's also enrolled in a, a pottery group as well. So this could be an example for you where you're getting involved in a, a group like that and you're making new friends and, um, and uh, you know, you're building a community, as I said, of like-minded people. You're learning, you're speaking to each other, you're speaking to each other on a regular basis. This is something that is gonna be very, very repetitive. It's almost like working on something repetitively on a weekly basis in particular. Um, I also see that with the Eight of Pentacles idea, um, we have someone who is going to be mastering this skill. You know, when you take time to work on something, you end up mastering it. When you gain mastery in something, you end up teaching it too. So this could be you maybe going back to school and maybe even learning. Now, the interesting thing about bringing Ben into the equation as an example is he he is actually a science teacher at a school. Um, and so this could be literally you teaching something or studying something, how to learn, how to teach. Um, that could be an example for some of you. Um, there's also this energy of, you know, developing a skill, particularly when you do a repetitive task, you end up um, learning something out of it and you create muscle memory. Now, with this sticker here that you've chosen, we have like a, a, a healthy juice, <coughs> a healthy drinking, um, you know, 
juice here um and this could be something that could be very important to you you know health is wealth so this could be important to you like how you partake in in activities how you partake in group activities how you're learning things is all part of you you know um expanding your knowledge learning is also a way of working on, on your neuroplasticity as well in your brain and i guess in a way like preventing memory loss as well um and actually gaining gaining and gaining new skills um is a way of helping your short and long-term memory in particular especially if it's like creative you know like art art therapy those kind of things pottery etc so I feel like this is something that's health related. Um, the people that you surround yourself with is are going to be very significant. I feel like I want to get another two cards for you, Paul. One. There's also yellow here. The colour yellow is something that you're going to be very excited about. You know, this thing is going to be very exciting for you. Joy filled. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Now, this is always a great card to have here. You have an understanding of things going in your favour and things not turning out in your favour. You have an understanding of time. You have an understanding of um, things, you know, working out and people having their time to shine and then not having their time to shine. There is a time to learn. There's a time to uh, research. There's also a time to maybe go inwards and reflect and meditate and, you know, take time to develop a project. And that may be you not being so involved in social media and maybe just being involved in physical um, physical matters like researching, reading books, um, making things um, rather than just be glued onto your phone or your, your gadgets. I just feel like that's important and that's something you understand, pile one. There's also these little um, symbols here of people doing yoga, um, little gods, um, you know, sacred statues and statuettes of women and women matters, um, you know, menstruation, for example, and um, menopause, you know, maybe these are transitions in your life that you're going through at this time as a woman or women identifying individual. Um, we have maybe like aliens as well, maybe researching aliens or angels, um, the understanding of maybe cave paint, cave paintings or research of that. So there's also the understanding of, of Greek mythology here too, um, along with planetary um, movement as well. So this could be something that you might be interested in, pile one. The Wheel of Fortune is always, um, for me, a, a great card to have in a reading. But it's the first major arcana here that we have, and we're at the only tarot that we have today for you is the Mother Peace Tarot deck. Um, and we have also the Six of Cups, which is, again, this feeling of recognition of soul tribe, this feeling of knowing who your soul tribe are, this feeling of uh, magic as well, something from your past that you're wanting to bring forth again. This could be a creative skill set. So say, for example, you were a dancer before, maybe this is something you're going to go back to, part one. Um, the energy of emotions being awakened as well here with the water, the oceans, these um, women who are riding horses and riding, um, you know, mythical beasts as well. Um, and we have 10, 8 and 6 here. 10, 8 and 6. Could be significant for you, pile 1 as well. 10, 8 and 6. So 10, 8, 6. That could be a year. AD, a year AD that you might be coming back to from a past life regression that you might be revisiting. Um, I'm also just seeing a Robin there, so there's good luck coming through for you. We also have Fortune with the Wheel of Fortune too. Let's just, uh, let's get into the meat of the matter here and let's just have a look at the um, Kipper deck here. Tell us about this Eight of Discs. The Gentleman, so we have number five. Okay, so we have... Something here that involves um, a main man in your life. And let's just, let's keep going into it. This could be someone who may want to come back around with a world card. This person could be different from your usual type. 
Um, this person could be at a distance from you. This person is well traveled. This person could have gray hairs or black and black and pepper, salt and pepper hair. Um, could carry the masculine archetype regardless of gender here. Pile one. Um, we also have someone who's very well suited. They like lovely things. They love lovely clothes. Giving me the energy of the King of Pentacles. Someone who takes a time, you know, takes a while to um, to move to before they before they actually finalize on deciding to move towards an individual. I do feel like there is someone who has their eye on you, Pile One, in terms of love. We have a bain et travail. So we have toil and labour here. We have pain and labour here. Labour. So we have you in terms of work where 38 could be significant here. You could be the age 38. Where, you know, you're working and toiling towards, you know, something that you loved. You felt there was a community spirit here. Um, there was a lot of hard work that was put, put in, invested in. Um, this is something from a past life that you had... Um, reintegrated in this life that you're you're working in and you've been working in and you've been working really hard at I don't get the sense that you've been necessarily paid the amount that you should be getting paid or maybe there was some some sort of um you know uh argument here pile one in your past with a boss in particular um I just get the sense that there was someone who didn't necessarily want to pay you and pay your worth. Now, you may have received a lot of money in your past, um, but you're recognising, Pearl One, that, you know, y yes, it's great to be paid for what you what you are owed, and that is important. I feel like that is important for you, Pearl One. I think that something is going to be changing in regards to that in your future. I feel like for you, Pearl One, um, you will be getting paid what is due to you and what you're worthy of pile one particularly if you work in the creative industries and that you love what you do here with the six of cups love energy here um and you'll be connecting with people that are like-minded pile one you'll be you'll be connecting with people that also have strong emotions towards their creative endeavors as well um there's also this energy of past connections here now i have to say with regards to this gentleman here you know this could be um, a love connection who may be returning from your past here who really feels like a soul tribe, a soul mate. This could be someone who you've even worked with in your past or maybe that you've known from childhood, maybe as a school friend, for example. They themselves also work hard and have worked hard in order to create this environment of stability, comfort. You know, this is someone who's very knowledgeable as well, someone who's very well read in arts and letters and the humanities, someone who's also humanitarian. They may not necessarily be in the spotlight, but they are someone who's very well known. And they also make a lot of money with what they do in the creative industry or in their line of work. You know, we have someone who's very principled, personne principale. We have someone who is, um, again, the main male, the main significator in this reading. This is someone that you could be looking at or someone who is um, looking at you or vice versa. There is a main man a main masculine here in this reading there's someone who's um gained maturity there's someone this is someone who has a very youthful soul pile one this is someone who is a leader someone who has uh you know is a man as a strong member of society is a leading um standing member of society and someone who has very strong ethics um, I do feel, just because of the nature of the cards and how their arms are placed, I feel like this person hasn't quite opened up fully their emotions to you, Pile One, and I feel like that is going to be changing here with number five. The number one numerology is someone who is important to you. You may already know this person. If you don't, this, this is someone who's coming into your life from a past life, or someone at least that you find resonance with. You know, you feel like you've known them before, that kind of energy, pile one, yeah? Um, you know, this person can be coming back into your life as you're working towards a project, you're working towards a goal, you're working towards um, a theme that is taking up a lot of your time, pile one, and uh, this theme or this project is about something from your past life, I would say. 
So you're sort of connecting the dots between timelines here in this project that you're doing. Now think outside of the box in terms of creative industries. We have film, arts, music, um, theatre, dance, um, any kind of creative outlet, any kind of creative industry that you work in or that resonates with you, this is this is going to be significant for you. This is something that is a project that is you is is you revisiting um, yourself from a past life here. Maybe part of ancient Greece or an ancient site around the world. There's also a planetary system here. I do feel like this person is destined to be in your life here, pile one. Um, this person has leveled up in, in their line of work. This person is also very mature. Um, this person works a lot. You know, they, they are very much more of the material in the material world. And that's not to say that they're not spiritual. I do feel like they are, but I don't I feel like they are quite guarded with their emotions. We have a message here, pile one. We have an important message. We have maybe even possibly a contract with regards to love or you know career work or money here now with this card here i see that there is an envelope here that is is closed so this could be an envelope something that they may have written to you maybe even scribed maybe even wrote down as a text message and never sent it this could be multiple messages that they hadn't sent um i get the feel i get the feeling that this is a message that they are actually going to be sending because they want a new opportunity with you pile one now let me just check the cards so that you can see them yeah you can <laughs> um so i see that here pile one this is a message that is going to be positive i would say it's going to be in your favor now with number seven here number seven is the chariot i believe um in the major arcana let me just check my book yeah number seven is the chariot so this could be strong cancer energy here um the chariot is someone who is courageous works towards their dreams as well someone who is quite forthright as well uh, let's have a look at the booklet here well, not booklet, my book, my guidebook, my new fun guidebook, which I love. Um, the chariot is a person who is who has self-belief, who is courageous. This is someone who is going places and doesn't allow fear to prevent them from getting where they wish to be. While this person might naturally be confident, this card is not only associated with high achievers, which we have here. Um, we all have the ability to experience the success of this card. So it can describe those people who defeat obstacles against the odds. The chariot, when connected in movement and vehicles, could describe someone whose livelihood is dependent on driving. Now, that could involve, you know, a lot of driving. Um, the key words either way, success and confidence and obs um, overcoming obstacles, indeed. Um, in a situation we have this card as being very triumphant here indeed so if you've had some you know hard knocks with work and you've been working hard and you haven't been getting paid well i feel like with the wheel of fortune this is going to be um fruitful and fortuitous for you now the bottom of the deck we have maison so some of you may have recently moved home you may have recently bought a house you may have recently bought an apartment or something about uh, maybe even a place of work that had changed somehow. Attente. So we have someone who's been waiting, maybe at home, waiting at home, waiting for someone to come back in or return. And we have this card here, this message here that could be coming through, maybe even, even by cancer season, which is, you know, just the beginning of the summer months. All of my videos, all of my readings are timeless. This person may even ask you out on a drink for a drink here with this um, juice here. This someone could have um, turned and changed their diet here because maybe there was a bit of a workaholicism aspect in their life. Um, so they're learning how to be a bit more health conscious here. 
we have préoccupation, so we have someone who is very concerned, someone who's a warrior, someone who's a thinker, someone who really um, is in their mental capacities, as I said, someone who's very material, someone who's in the material world. So we have 33 here. Let me just check that you can see this card. Yeah, you can. <laughs> um, we have 33, could be then age, um, but someone who's gained mastery here with the 33 card. Someone has been thinking a lot. Someone has been really in their thoughts here. It's kind of giving me the energy of um, a little bit of anxiety. Um, someone who may be trapped in their mind here and may not necessarily be opening up. You know, these arms are not open, they're closed in. But maybe they're expressing themselves through writing or texting or writing on their computer um, in order to formalise the words that they want to say and speak to you or communicate to you when the time is right. We have horizon. Horizon lointain, so we have distant horizons here. We do have someone who is at a distance from you. We have someone who's in separation from you for a long time. Now, this person does take their time, as I said before. I'm giving this is giving me the energy of um, you know, the earth energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. They don't have to have those signs in their zodiac necessarily, but it's the energy of someone who is quite slow moving. Someone who likes to take things slow before they actually settle down into something or stabilise something here. 36 could be their age. Uh, let's round that down. 6, 7, 8, 9. That's a 9. So this person has gone through some difficult challenges of late. And maybe they're wanting to put this in their distant past. So that they themselves can be, be you know, be the captain of their own ship. They do understand the meaning of destiny. They do understand the meaning of fate. They do understand the meaning of synchronicities and coincidences. Pile one, I do get the sense that this is someone who understands all of these things and they understand that you are possibly even a fated partner, but it just hasn't been the right time. Now, with regard to work, I feel like in your distant past, you had been working very, very hard, pile one. And now I feel like it's been it's been time for a break a bin it's been time for a health cleanse it's been time for a you know a, a, a digital detox pile one it's been time to get paid it's been time to be recognized for the important person that you are in your line of work pile one now as you can see these cards have flipped out we have grand bonheur so we have great fortune coming in which is doubled here with the wheel of fortune card which is gorgeous so you know, we have someone who is of high standing here. This could also be you yourselves. We have gain exceptionnel. We have great fortune and we have, you know, wealth here. Great wealth coming in with number 11 as well. Okay, part one. And then lastly, we have bondin. Oh, we have two cards. We have number six and we have bondin. We have a gentle woman, you know, a mature woman as well. And lastly, we have maladie. So, you know, with bain et travail, we have hard work and labour. You know, school of hard knocks has been learnt. We have learnt that we don't necessarily have to push so hard in our work. It's about working smart, isn't it? And we have maladie, which is an illness. So if you work too hard on something to a to point of burnout, you are going to get sick. You know, it is going to... Um, it is going to come through and manifest in your physical body. That's just something that happens um, here, pile one. And I feel like someone is understanding that, that that could be you or this could be someone um, who surrounds you energetically at this time. I do want to have a look at the bottom of the deck here. We have vol. So, you know, with regards to work, we have a thief here. I get the sense that you've been really, your cards have, been dealt in a negative way in the sense that it was time for you to leave a place of work I would say Paul one um with the great uh, with the wheel of fortune I get the sense that you know you had spent time in this place of work you had been paid possibly even handsomely with a lot of money um you worked really hard you had you felt the sense of community Paul one but it's now time to um, to move away and if you hadn't moved away um, at the time that was destined for you you may have been working towards something where you didn't necessarily get paid properly for what what it was worth the product was worth or what you were worth or both 
and we have someone who had taken advantage of you here with vol with a thief energy this had made you sick some sick i'm getting the energy of a tower moment possibly for a lot of you there was sudden change and this was very shocking you know when someone takes from you where they're not meant to uninvited uninvitedly you may, this could even be an uninvited guests you may have even experienced a robbery you know this is this is a feeling of betrayal this is a feeling of sickness this is a feeling of feeling ill at ease not feeling safe in your own home in your place of work we did have the maison the house card earlier so i get the sense that you know something had changed and something had rocked the boat and i feel like this time of sickness and hard work and you know not getting paid for what you're worth is um is up so now you are going to be recognized you're going to be seen as a person of high honor here we do have born down which is the is the um, counterpart to the gentleman here so we have um beautiful counterpart energy here where two immature mature individuals whether in age or in nature or both who carry a very youthful spirit here have worked very hard towards their career and they may have experienced sickness here i'm also hearing in sickness and in wealth i get there and in health and in wealth i get the this sense that this individual here does want to um settle with you in a long-term connection because they see your wealth pile one and this person is looking in this direction okay and this person is looking direct but also in with a slight tilt towards this direction and you yourselves part one are also looking in that direction so i get the sense that you are wanting a partnership um that is from your distant past your past life this is someone who you are expecting to return because we did have the waiting card attente so i do see that you are going to be receiving the message that you have been waiting for um maybe after a time of depression and concern and overthinking and lots of anxiety part one i do feel like it's all going to be worth it in the end it's all going to make sense make sense in the end part one and i do get the sense that someone who um maybe had betrayed your trust is now wanting to court you as well with uh courtesier courtesier so we have a courting card here. Now, these are people who, get, who are getting to know each other. This is stable energy here with number four as well. I also get the sense that there could be a proposition from work, um, maybe a place in your in your past, um, who there's a maybe, uh, I don't know, a, a boss or a colleague who may wish to work with you again or wish to work with you just for the first time that you may know from your past. This is someone from the same industry as you and I feel like this is someone who you can trust. I do feel like someone who you have closed a contract with from your past, um, like your past boss or colleague or the, the nature of an environment that you had last worked in, that you've closed out or you are closing out, they were not to be trusted. This new energy of, of, uh, of an opening um is coming through as positive there is an open opportunity there is an opening in a line of work there's an opening of a position i'm hearing that where you're going to get a promotion here um this is the you know the the fee the money the salary of your dreams and this is part of your destiny this is a lucky energy so take advantage of this jupiter energy here this lucky energy of the wheel of fortune and this great wealth here um and I, and I do see that there is you know a meeting that's going to take place a contract that's going to come through um that is going to be highlighting all of these things that i mentioned where you're going to be getting paid well you're going to be getting a, a promotion as well and these are people that you can trust um so this is great okay this this um this reading this situation does also involve a marriage as well here with mariage so you know there is a strong commitment taking place here there's a strong connection taking place here there is a leveling up in your commitment in your relationship romantically speaking as well this is someone from your past and someone who you had married before in your past part one 
with uh, the mariage. Number three is the empress energy here. The empress is you, pile one here with the born down. Regardless of gender, this is the energy of femininity, the energy of creativity, the energy of femininity and fertility, the energy of being open and knowing your worth and being open for, um, for those of you who are single, for um, people to come to you, being open to new experiences, being open to... Um, love in general and i do see that this is going to be a very fertile few months for you the cycle that you're entering in part one is going to be very healthy in your past there was toxicity here with the thief card here um maybe even some toxicity in terms of um you know overworking here or whatever it is um with regard to um a negative habit this could also be themselves as the person, your counterpart, who had dealt with that too. Um, and now we're moving into a cycle of healthy, healthy energy of health. So that's what I have for you, Paul One. If this message resonates for you, do let me know. Please do like, share and comment as well. Please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help the algorithms so people and more people can see the videos and the readings. Um, if you would like a private reading with me, you know where to find me. The information is down below in the description box. I do appreciate you buying me coffee or even a juice um, or lunch. You can do an energy exchange if you wish with any sort of money, money, any kind of currency that you wish as an exchange. You can do that with the link below through PayPal. And uh, if this message finds you well, I, I do hope it does. Do let me know what does transpire in your life, part one. Um, if you're feeling called to look at part two and part three, you can go and head it. You can go ahead and do that now as well. Thank you so much and take care. God bless. Bye for now. Pile two, welcome to your reading. All you need to know about money, life, your career. What is it that you need to know, pile two? For those of you who chose the sandal or the slipper here, let's have a look at what you need to know. So we're going to be using the Mother Peace Tarot deck. This is the only tarot deck that we're going to be using in your reading. This reading, like all of my readings, are completely timeless. So whenever you're tuning into this video, hopefully it will resonate for you. If not, go to Pile 1 or Pile 3. I also have other Pick a Pals on the Pick a Pile playlist. I also have other playlists as well, including Astro and Divine Love. So let's have a look at what is happening in Pile 2's Love Career Finances, please. Okay, just three cards, please. So I'm going to get this card here. Okay, let's have a look first. We have the Four of Swords. Okay. A time of meditation, pile four. Sorry, pile two. A time of meditation, pile two. A uh, time of respite, a time of self-reflection, maybe even sleeping a little bit more, pile two. Pay attention to your dreams. Have you been sleeping enough? Pile two, it's like you're having to create some sort of barrier here so that others don't distract you from what you're needing to focus on. This could be meditation, this could be your own personal space, this could be your home, your work, your um, your office space, your studio space, wherever you're working, it's important that you don't get distracted, pile two. We do have stability and your stability comes through you aligning yourself with spirit and you know being away from the world and just tuning into spirit as a as a as a way to feed your soul part two i'm hearing we also have a lot of green here and yellow and a bit of orangey beige we also have the alignment of the chakras here too so i do see that you are entering a time period of respite i just heard reciprocity as well um part two and we have this energy of relaxation and recuperation and as well um contemplation part two pyramids could also be significant number four could also be significant number four in the tarot is the um, emperor energy um so with the emperor we have stability in finances maybe this is also you wanting to meditate and manifest the role of your dreams or the job of your dreams or you being a bit more in charge of your business or in charge of your career or in charge of your money this could also be you coming across pile two as a balanced divine feminine energy with this receptivity energy as well as a balanced masculine energy but you predominantly show as the masculine archetype pile two 
We have the Nine of Pentacles here, the Nine of Discs, gorgeous card here for you, Paul. Two, we have this woman who is a healer, a curandera, a shamana. And we have this person who is casting stones here on a chart here. Um, I also just had the word mood board. So some of you could be wanting to do a mood board or look at Pinterest for ideas as well. Um, we also have these symbols here. So have a look at these symbols and see how they resonate for you, Paul 2. We have this cactus. We have a snake here. The snake is a sign of medicine. The snake is a sign of sexuality. The snake is also the sign of the... The, the the karmic individual that we've left behind we've learned from that lesson you know that lesson of hard hard relationships hard love tough love uh, from a karmic situation karmic relationships are karmic relationships are are relationships that we have felt um familiar familiarity with that individual from a past life but it's actually because we're needing to yes they are someone from our past lives they're not soulmates they're not high vibrational love relationships, but they are soulmates from, karmic soulmates from a past life where we need to learn from that individual, learn from that, the mistakes from a past life and close out that chapter with them so that we don't re repeat it in another lifetime. So you may have um, experienced that recently here. With the Nine of Pentacles, this is someone who is single. We do have an older female here. We have an elder here with grey hair. It's giving me the indication that you may be learning from someone who is an elder, uh, maybe from uh, a shaman, even your mother, if your mother is a practicing shaman, shamana. With the Nine of Pentacles, it's also giving me the energy of Virgo, strong Virgo energy. So you might have that in your chart. And lastly, we have the Two of Wands here. Okay, so we have the Two of Wands here, which is the Two of Wands. <laughs> so we have an cho important choice possibly that you're um, needing to make here. Um, what is it? What is it that's sparking your fire? What is it that's sparking your interest? Pile two. What is it that you're wanting to create with another person here? Maybe even another female. This could be same-sex partnerships here that we're dealing with, as well. Hmm. So with pile one, I did choose the three cards. So I'm I'm just going to be focusing on three cards for you from the mother piece tarot deck but if you would like a private reading with me and this message does resonate please do let me know um you can book directly on the website um and i go deeper into your into your situation whatever that may be so nine four two could be significant numbers for you nine four two the month of september the month of April and the month of February could be significant for you, Paul, too. There could be something where you'll be partaking in meditation or meditation practice. Now, these are really shamanic healing cards, really. Um, that may involve you travelling to somewhere hot where you, you know, you'll, you'll be wearing sandals or even being barefoot. This is also being connected to the earth and mother nature, Paul, too. Um... This individual here is looking at her future here. So this individual here is young, is youthful, and she's looking at possibly a mother or the mother that she will be, the um, woman that she will be in her future. And this is something that she is creating, Pearl 2. So Pearl 2, you could be single at this time and looking at how and reflecting at how you can create a future self of yourself so how you can um create the life that you wish to lead by example i'm hearing pile two okay now with regard to money career finances love relate love related right now i'm not really picking up on anything major i'm just picking up on these colors of green so you could have been healing your heart chakra you could have been you may have experienced a divorce a separation a relationship you may be an elder you may be someone who's mature or mature in age or you've experienced a lot of life lessons part two
and you may be seeing how life has just passed you by in the blink of, a, of an eye. So one minute you're young and youthful and have lots of energy and the next minute you don't. Um, but how are you teaching these teachings to the world? Pile two. OK, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Pile two. Let's clarify the four. Oh, my goodness. That is way too many cards. Spirit, there's a lot. OK, pile two. Spirit is saying to pick up all of these cards. So I'm just going to pull them out and then we'll talk, talk about them. 19 is this, uh, which is the death card. 10 is voyage, which is travel. Gang exceptionnel with number 11, which is like winning the lottery, lots of luck, fortune. Grand Bonheur, number 26, is great fortune. This, These two cards came out in Pearl 1, so you may resonate with Pearl 1, but... Maybe Pole 1 was your past and this is your present and future. Soucé en amour. So this is uh, success and love, divine love, romance, number 15. Um, number 15 is a tower card. So there's going to be a sudden change in your love life. There are two pillars here, if you can see that here. Two pillars, two doves, turtle doves and two statues. So this statue was on this pillar alone. This statue was on this pillar alone. They were standing separated from each other. This is giving me the energy of divine love, twin flame energy, two pillars, number 11 as well. As a portal, we have number 11 signified here as well in great um, exceptional wealth and luck. The fact that you will be both finding each other and connecting each other in this lifetime, you'll, you'll just be feeling very lucky that you did, pile two. After a time of maybe being single for a long time, maybe you thought you'd be single forever, um, pile two. Um, I do get the sense that this is someone who is destined to be in your life, this is someone who travels, this is someone who um, you may be meeting on a retreat, a yoga retreat, um, something like that, um, somewhere abroad. Maybe there's been a separation from for both of you where you've experienced death in the relationships or relationship, death in a connection or just a feeling of malaise and death in love. It's not to say that you don't believe in love. It's more the sense that you just don't really care for it at this time. So maybe there hasn't been much love or sexual entertainment even um, recently. Wow. As I'm reading, there's this beautiful hawk that's just passed through the window. It's huge. This hawk is just, oh, I love it. I love reading the tarot here by the window because you just see amazing wildlife. It's like it was waving at me. Number two, we have person principal. So we have the main female here. So Palti, you are the main female. We also have um, Gemini energy here, which I'm picking up on with the lovers card here. Um, there's travel, there could be a distance between you as well, between you both. We have ses pensées, so we have someone who is very imaginative, someone who's a thinker, someone who sees you possibly as their muse, part two. And we have bon riche, so we have a wealthy man as well, part two. Okay, let me just get two more and I'll talk about money and career as well. This card flipped. We have Kado. So Kado came to came out today in the um, daily readings on Instagram, abstract underscore medicine. And lastly, we have préoccupation. So we have concerns, worries, and thinking, possible even anxiety here. Bottom of the deck, we have occupation. So you could be meeting someone from work or this is someone who uh, you've already met. This is someone that you know from work. Either way, you might be working on something at the time, um, at a time where you may suddenly meet someone. This is someone who may wish to travel towards you, to gift you something, to offer you something of high value here with a cuddle. We also have someone who, you know, works in a high position in their line of work who is very good at manifesting and making money. This is someone who also possibly be creative or has a creative skill or talent. They could literally be painters as well, not literally, but they could 
uh, genuinely be painters as well, there could be a death and a connection. So for some of you who may have, um, may be widowers and or wid widows, I do see that, that your partner is connecting with you from beyond the veil. Um, this is someone who travels towards you at night. This is someone who um, connects with you um, spiritually speaking and you intertwine with each other sexually speaking in the astral realm you are still tied to this person and um this is how this is the nature of your connection um they are your main person in your life no matter if they have transitioned in the into the spiritual world and and vice versa you are the same to them too i also get the sense that in the physical world there is someone who is um painting a picture of how they maybe wish to approach you Paul to or maybe they're painting a picture on how they see you this is someone who you may not have seen for a long time and they may forget what you look like so they may try to copy pictures of you or portraits of you online or photographs of you online or they may be looking at your picture a lot pile too i'd like to get a confirmation on this cadeau please for it i see so what I'm what I'm getting um, from spirit is that this um, this gift is a wish come true with number seventeen. So if you've been wishing for someone to come towards you um, and connect with you, this person has been thinking about you a lot, and you've been thinking about them a lot, and you found that you've won the jackpot having met them. And I do feel like there is a transformation in this connection. This person could have Scorpio in their chart or they may have dealt with a Scorpio. This person may be ending a relationship with a Scorpio and is taking some respite, some time to reflect on what they truly want, reflect, you know, imagine the life that they wish to lead, live and the next chapter of their life into, you know, mature adulthood. So this person is seeing you as a wish come true and they're also... Um, wanting to give you something that you may be wishing for they find you exceptional pile one uh, with number 13 this is also clarification of the death card here um it's very strong scorpio energy here that i'm picking up on as well as gemini energy okay and we have une route so it's been a long time it's going to be a long time um maybe until you connect with them maybe it's been a long time already since you've connected with them and you've been in separation from this person pile two either way i do feel do feel like time is really a revealer of what it is that we really truly want you know maybe there's a time period where we don't really we really feel like we want something and you know, time goes by and then we're tested by spirit. Like, well, hang on, do you actually still want this thing that you really, really wanted before, that you had strong desire towards before? So spirit might come in to test you and go, well, do, you know, this person that you longed for, that you wanted, that you loved, that you maybe even physically intertwined with, connected with physically in an intimate setting, intimately, who you found great wealth with you know in wealth and love not just in finances um this person i feel like is actually going to be coming back and spirit's going to go well the the portal is opening up now the transformation is complete in the connection and now you're going to be walking through that portal now this person is going to come in and offer you something that you've been wishing for um that no one else has given to you before. And spirit is going to ask you, do you still want this thing? Okay. Um, I do so, see for a lot of you who have a partner who has transitioned into the other life, into, you know, beyond the, the veil, I do see, still see that this person still connects with you um, in spiritually speaking, which is beautiful. 
there's a there's a tie between you with number eight here five and three six seven eight there's a tie there's a link there's a loop you, you are infinitely connected beyond the ethers it doesn't matter there's infinite time space love is infinite it, it doesn't matter what is in the way whether it's the physical world or the spiritual world is what spirit is saying and you connect with this person in the spiritual world now the candle has just gone out but that's fine um we'll have one left for part three um but what i'll say is that there is a, a great gift coming through you you are given a gift as well paul to you're given a gift you're given the gift of exploration you're given the gift of travel you know not everyone wants to travel not everyone wants to explore and that is a gift in itself you know um you also gifted painters for some of you gifted creators part two there is someone who sees you as that now with regards to work i do see that there is someone who sees you as someone who has um a really strong talent an important talent something that is creative that you offer to this world and you are someone who could be very well known already in your line of work and you could be quite popular as well part two um, you attract a lot of admirers, Paul, to you. You're known in your line of work as someone who is um, very gifted, very talented, very unique, but also of a high standing at a high level uh, because you've worked really hard at it over over time. And you, you could be offered an opportunity to travel, uh, maybe even a long journey, a long journey abroad where there can involve jet lag. So, you know, more than a few hours travel with the time difference here. Um I forgot to say that you could be dealing with someone romantically speaking where that is uh, where that is a theme as well where there's time distance there's um, a time change a time distance um, between you both um, but yeah with regards to work I see that there is um, an opportunity for you to make a lot of money here with someone who is able to create that opportunity for you to make a lot of money now, with regard to divine loves, now this does happen where two counterparts do come together and are a power couple in order to give something to the world, you know, give, gift, give something to the world, offer something to the world, and they work together at something. Okay, so this could be literally muse. I have to stop saying literally because it's not literally. This could be muse and artist. You are the muse, they are the artist or vice versa. Okay, this card flipped and we have gentleman so gentleman came out in today's abstract medicine um, daily reading um i believe or oh, this came out in pile one as well so you could resonate with pile one you know we have a very distinguished and discerning customer we also have a distinguished and discerning client so for those of you who are painters we have someone a collector who is interested in investing and buying your artwork and buying buying and investing in what it is that you're creating pile two now this is someone who as i said is very well principled this is someone who has a lot of knowledge this is someone who is knowledgeable in arts and letters this could be even someone who has multiple degrees or a phd or at least a master's degree someone who's highly educated um, in the traditional sense at university level this could even be a professor. This could be maybe an opportunity to work abroad and lecture part two. This could also be um, you um, being offered an opportunity um, for someone to, you know, create a commissioned product or something like that. Um, I do feel like you're going to be making a lot of money anyway. I don't think I don't think that money is of an issue for you part two coming through. I do feel like there's going to be an important partnership, a work partner who is coming in to offer you a big prize. You could also be receiving a prize, an accolade or an award award as well. And you're going to feel like you won the lottery. Um, you may have applied to something. You may have applied to something. You're not sure whether you got the prize or you got the gig and you are getting the gig pile two. Pain and travail uh, is, um, you know, toil and labour. This came out in the daily um, reading today on Instagram. So hard labour, you know, hard work, toil and labour does pay off eventually. But just make sure that you're not overworking too hard to a point of burnout pile two. Um, you could be needing to take a time out and time 
time away and just have a holiday as well part two I feel like you have been working really hard you've been focusing on, on your work you could be meeting someone at work um someone who you know maybe your life has been a little bit dull as well I have to say where you're just working 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 and it might be time to just go on a holiday or go on a retreat or even do a personal retreat at home or in nature you know you don't always have to be on the go all the time pile two um, it's time to take some time to imagine pile two T take some time to um, just take space take space to open up your creative mind uh, and receive messages from spirit that wants to come through from from you know mount olympus here with this greek goddess i'm picking up on venusian energy as well very feminine energy venus planet venus you might have gemini in your venus um as well your jupiter and uranus placements are also going to be significant you might have scorpio in that too uh, Jupiter, you might have Sagittarius in your chart as well as Aquarius. Uh, Uranus um, is a planet that rules Aquarius. Um, and you might have strong Mercury placements. Either way, there's there's going to be communication here with Gemini energy, um, expansion energy and good luck is coming through. Travel is of importance in the next chapter of your life as well, Paul 2, as well as taking a time out, flip your socks off, flip your shoes off, get grounded, take a time out, I would say. That's really kind of it at the moment, part two. That's what I'm seeing for you. With number 15 adding up, you know, 9, 4 and 2, which is 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Add that 2 up, that's uh, 15. We have 15. To be honest, I feel like it's mainly love related and most of this reading has been about love. So I feel like the next chapter of your life does involve and it's a significant person in your life. Um where you are going to be the apple to someone's eye i'm hearing that's just beautiful lots of romances blooming coming through after a time of not having romance in your life or sensuality sexuality um being experienced with another person time to reawaken time to live again i'm hearing pile two that's all i have for you pile two i hope you've found these messages supportive i hope i find you well here with these messages too uh, at the time of this reading it's blue monday so hang on in there don't overwork take a time out take a break pile two and um if you would like a private reading with me you know where to find me you can book directly onto the website if you have any questions you can send me an email as well send me a message the information is below and if you would like to offer an energy exchange by purchasing um, a reading with me or buying me a drink or a coffee or even lunch um, I'd be grateful for that energy exchange as I give to you uh, if you can't that's totally fine please do like this reading if it resonates please do share the reading please also subscribe to the channel it really really does help the algorithms thank you so much have a look at part one and part three as well if it resonates catch you later bye for now Hello, part three. Welcome to your reading. So what's happening for you, with you, to you in money, love and career, part three. So we have Kauai. So we have Kauai. So you could resonate with Hawaii. Um, you might think something is cute. You may think um, you found your spirit tribe, your soul tribe, your group of people, part three. Uh, let's have a look at the Mother Peace Tarot deck. So already suddenly this has come out. Um, as I mentioned in Pile 1 and Pile 2, we're only going to be using the Mother Peace Tarot um, for the Tarot and we're going to be using the Chiro Marchetti deck. So we have number 5. This is a distorted back to front, you know, um, pentacle. This is not necessarily positive. It's kind of, kind of like, not great <laughs> with the, the, the inverted pentag pentagram. So um but there could be something here that you may have dealt with that had um not gone in your favor pile three um pile three so we have the five of swords here we do have a bee here this bee is kind of trapped within these swords and as i said before you know this is an inverted pentagram it's not in a positive light it's in a dark shadow aspect light it's the darker false light um and this bee likes to be part of a hive likes to be part of a group of people likes to be part of a soul tribe 
loves to work within a hive. You know, that's how they work. They don't work solo, you know, pile three. So with the five of swords, I do see that there has been some sort of conflict here. Um, there's been some sort of issue here with regards to competition, disagreements. Maybe you're feeling defeated. Maybe you're feeling like this bee stuck in the swords here. Muck and, m stuck in between those swords. But this bee can fly upwards and go up and out. So maybe this is something that you you feel like you're trapped in, but it's actually a false entrapment, possibly. There could have been there could have been involved some sort of um, winning at all costs mentality or brute force. Okay, so you may have been uh, you may have been hit by someone. I'm picking up on. You may have actually had a physical in into intercation. I can't, I can't even think of the word. Um, yeah, you may have had a physical fight with someone recently. Um, there's a false light here. Let's have a look at these cards that came out. Daughter of Cups, Page of Cups. So... This woman is bathing in water here. She has a cup there. She has a vessel and she has water that's going straight in between her legs here. Now, I have to say, um, just because the nature of this um, this conflictual energy, I have to say that there's going to be a bit of a trigger warning because I'm getting the sense that someone may have treated you wrongly uh, without your permission. So someone may have actually um, come into your physical space without you wanting them to do that. OK, this could this could have been at your place of work as well. Uh, pile three we have the lovers number six yeah so I get the sense for some of you this may not resonate for all of you but you may have been you may have experienced some sort of SA okay so you may have experienced someone who had not respected your personal space here pile three and this may have been someone that you may have thought was a friend but actually was an enemy a frenemy a false friend this may have happened in your past as well or this may have happened very recently poll three it's important for you to speak about it um anonymously and actually do something about it and say something about it so it doesn't happen again to a colleague i have to say this could also have been something that you may have experienced at school at university at college so take it as it resonates so if that does not resonate with you, you may have experienced some sort of conflict in a relationship recently. Um, there may have been disagreements. There may have been arguments between both of you. Um, you may be quite young in age. There may be an age difference between you and someone else. This could be a Gemini energy here. Um, and maybe there were conflictual arguments or words were spoken and words maybe had been left unspoken is what I'm hearing and picking up on. With regard to um, with regard to love, I feel like you may have you may have um, let's say played the field. You may have explored your options um, in love and romance before, um, and it just you know you kiss a lot of frogs, and it just the, it, Prince Charming didn't turn up. So maybe there there wasn't the right person that turned up. I'm picking up on Pisces energy here as well as Cancer with the Daughter of Cups. You might be in love with love. You might love the idea of love. Um, and this is maybe something that you just... This is just part of your nature. You know, maybe someone took advantage of that um, in your past. Maybe someone took advantage of that. Maybe someone um, just didn't respect you, didn't respect your principles, didn't respect your ethics in one way or another. I do feel like this is something from your past. I don't feel like this is something that's going to happen again. But I feel like I feel like um, there could also be someone coming into your life who actually will match you and is actually your true partner. You may not necessarily see this coming. Or if, or if you do feel like you've met someone who is meant to be part of your life in a romantic sense, setting as a divine partner for the long run, I do feel like this person is going to be turning up but I don't feel like they I don't feel like you're necessarily going to be expecting it you might have a sense of this because Pisces Cancer energy um are very psychic natural psychics they're the most psychic of the zodiac 
and you might be getting the sense of this happening and taking place but I don't necessarily feel that you know exactly when this will happen and take place you know you've drunk from many cups but they they didn't taste as sweet as the cup that is coming towards you I'm hearing okay so pile three let's have a look we have number five here which does talk about change we do have the courtship card here with courtesier so we do have someone who's wanting to court you this is someone who believes in stability this is someone who is mentally stable physically stable and emotionally stable emotionally intelligent as well as academic and um just naturally smart as well so we have someone who could also possibly be an Aries energy, Aries sign with number four, and Gemini energy. Someone who loves to communicate and speak a lot. Number 17 is the Aquarius energy. So we have 17, which is the star. This is going to be your wish coming true after a many conflicts in your past that you may have experienced. You may have even experienced um, conflict at work with regard to someone who didn't respect your personal space. Um, you may have also experienced conflict at work where you're actually starting to think about moonlighting or entertaining the idea of maybe applying for another job. So you might be doing that in secret at this time. We have Communauté, which is community here, which I mentioned here with the Kawaii card. I do feel like um, there is going to be a group of people that you really feel kindred spirit kindred energy with pile three uh number 39 could be your age at this time nine and three adds up to 10 11 12 so 12 is pisces energy it's the hanged man as well um it's the last sign of the zodiac that has an understanding of all other zodiacs because pisces has um, the attributes of all the other signs so you have a lot of compassion and you have a lot of desire to be part of a community now the shadow aspect of Pisces is that you can be taken advantage of so if you are Pisces or not it doesn't matter but this this message may resonate with you with, with regards to that now I do see that you are going to be working with another group of people another community where you feel safe where you feel safe which is really important you feel safe Someone is going to be offering you an opportunity um, of your dreams. A wish is coming true, which is great. This is something with regard to your creativity with the fire here that is burning. Uh, maybe you forgot about it. This is also a hand from spirit too. So spirit is helping you out here, is giving you an opportunity with a love match and also even a, a work partner as well that's coming in. Um, we also have maison. So for some of you, you might need help with getting that money, getting that deposit, whatever it is towards um, a home, a, a workplace. But I, I get the sense that you are going to be more stable here with the house card here, with this building. It's solid, you know, there's safety, there's this um, enclosure here and there's a gate. So this was a false entrapment from your past that you were letting go of. You're a worker bee. You know, you work very well with other people as well. You have a lot of compassion. You're a great team player, pile three. And someone, I would say, they haven't turned up yet. The signifier has not turned up yet. But there is someone who is seeing you as someone who works very well in a team. Loves to build, loves to create, loves to compromise as well. Um, loves to hear out what other people have to say. So I do get the sense that there has been something, you know, you know, with regard to the trigger warning that I mentioned here, that had made you sick and depressed here. So you're letting go of that in your past, which is great. And we have the principled man. Now, there is someone from your past who I am seeing in a workplace that took advantage um, this could have been a boss as well that may have taken advantage of you, pile one, sorry, pile three, and you may want to go to the courts about that. Take a legal start, stand on this, you know, because this is part of your ethics as well, that you don't leave any stone left unturned and you believe in justice, pile three. Now, we do have a main male here, pile three, and I do see that love is going to be blooming after a time of you maybe having a false sense of love, um, a false sense of community, a false sense of partnership. Or your main male, your main person, your main male, regardless of gender, is coming back after a time of conflict between you. Maybe words were said 
that shouldn't have been said or maybe there are words left unspoken. This person wants to give you something. They're, they are giving people. Um, they are going to be giving you their time if they didn't before. So we have an individual here, we have the signifier here with the main male here. So we do have a main man in your life, regardless of gender, a main person. Sorry, one second. A main, a main man, a main person in your life, um, who is also going to see you as number one. So both of you have been depressed and sad um, after the loss of this connection or the the breakup or the separation or silence in this connection, pile three. Um, and what you did is you both distracted yourself with work. You worked hard, you worked hard in the community, you um, you were working on a project possibly um, that was taking a lot of your time and this person that you're dealing with as well, your counterpart is also, has been and is still doing the same. But I, I get the sense that the tables are going to be turning soon and I see that this person sees you as someone who is also that main person. You, there could be an age difference between you here. Um, there is an individual here who may have been trapped in a situation, may have been trapped in another relationship, may have been trapped um, from moving forwards with you or ascending the connection with you because um, they had other options here with the lover's card and or they may have been trapped at work so they couldn't give you the time and love really that is needed um, in, in, a, in a connection that needs to build in a positive manner. In the meantime, they have really felt stuck. They felt like they were imprisoned in between a rock and a hard place, pile three, and they are finding their way out with some help from spirit. This situation involves marriage here, you know, so an important contract is involved here, you know, and I did talk about, you know, taking whatever situation that you dealt with in the past that was negative, where someone didn't um, respect your personal space. We have tribunal here, so we have justice prevailing here. So we have someone who is taking something to the courts and we have changement. So as I said, you could be dealing with someone who left you out in the cold, I have to say, or there was a separation or conflict or things that were said and things that were left unsaid between you both. There could be an age difference between you, picking up on Pisces, Scorpio, as well as Cancer, um, where both of you, and Libra as well, where both of you may have separated and have not spoken to each other in a, in a while. You did feel this sense of community, you did feel this sense of, of like soul tribe between both of you. Um, but I get the sense that this connection is going to be changing um, in the right way and it is necessary that it changes. This can involve you moving in with each other. This can involve your person moving towards you and moving in your home. This can involve um, them asking you to move in with them. This can involve you both buying a property or, or renting a place or starting a new chapter in your life where there's going to be stability and ascension in your connection. There is an important contract here, which with marriage does involve, you know, a contract. Um, and if marriage is not what you want, then this is your partnership ascending to a level of, let's say, importance and significance in your connection. It's going to change for the better, I would say. Um, if this person was dealing with another person, um, a third party, then I see that this person has dealt with that divorce and uh, legal papers have been sent and that has been finalised. And this is what this person was dealing with. They felt like they were stuck in between a, a rock and a hard hard place, pile three. They felt imprisoned. This may have, de this may have been happening during the lockdowns as well. Um, but this reading is timeless. At the bottom of the deck, we have personne militaire. This person is maybe quite guarded with their emotions. Usually this person could be uh, a person who wears a uniform. This person is um, has very high principles. They're very well respected in their community. This person is very well known, acknowledged. Um, they are at a high standing as well in their life. Number 22 could be significant in this connection as well. 
and we have Gain Exceptionnel. So we have someone who may be suddenly coming into a lot of wealth. This could be them and this could also be you. You might be receiving an award, you might be receiving a promotion at work as well. And I do get the sense that if you are thinking about making an important choice to leave a place of work towards a new place of work, this is going to be really good for you because I feel like you're going to be recognised, respected and get paid as well what you're owed, what you're needing to get paid for. And you're going to be getting a promotion if you move to this other place of work or even this new job role in the same sector or even the same building. Um, I also see that you could, some of you could be buying a car or you could also be um, going on a road trip, possibly even to Hawaii, possibly. Um, that's kind of all that I see at this time. Um, but if you would like a private reading with me, you know where to find me. You can book directly onto the website. If you feel generous to send me um, a tip, I would greatly appreciate that. I would buy myself a coffee. Um, buy coffee, uh, make coffee. Um, I'd appreciate that as a as a as an energy exchange of my time. Um, but if you would like to go deeper into your connection, your question about your love life or your career and like how things are moving for you, then I'd be glad to do that to do so. I, I love reading for you. Um, and you know the, the private readings are more specific as well. I am reading for a general public, there are general messages so please do bear that in mind. If you feel cool to look at pearl one and pearl two I would do that, um, otherwise have a look at the other pick a pile cards, other pick a pile readings on the pick a pile playlist. I also have an astro reading playlist as well as a divine love playlist too. Make sure to follow abstract underscore medicine on Instagram for daily readings as well as some yoga. Thank you so much and bye for now. Take care.